Hey guys, it's Natasha and welcome to Natasha's Creations. Night Owls. Today's society is mostly geared towards morning larks or morning people and night owls get the short end of the stick. Schools start by 8 a.m., most jobs start by 9 a.m., the early bird gets the worm, etc., etc. And because of this preference towards morning people, night owls are made to feel lazy, inefficient, and discredited. And as a night owl myself, I'm here to tell you that that is unfair and unhealthy. And this wasn't always the case. In prehistoric times, people who went to bed later were able to keep watch and protect their tribes from nocturnal predators. And in ancient times, they could protect their city from conquerors trying to sneak in at night. Before the Industrial Revolution, before the Industrial, the Industrial Revolution, before the Industrial Revolution, I can't say Industrial Revolution, before the Industrial Revolution, so just a little over 100 years ago, our sleep cycles were completely different. People actually used to sleep twice, so you'd have your first sleep and your second sleep, and people didn't really sleep eight hours straight throughout the night. And your sleep schedule would have been different from someone else's, and that was completely okay. But biphasic sleep is a totally different topic. But essentially, the Industrial Revolution, which I can't pronounce for some reason, really messed with all of our sleep schedules and people are still suffering the consequences of that. But everyone just accepts it because that's life and you have to be productive and it makes the sleep industry a ton of money trying to sell you mattresses and beds and pillows promising the perfect night's sleep without addressing the issue of why so many people are having trouble sleeping or having all these sleep issues. If you're a night owl, your circadian rhythm, which determines your sleep schedule, is set to have your body produce melatonin to help you fall asleep later in the night. Your circadian rhythm might also be a little longer, so you'd wake up later in the morning. Because you're not fully awake early in the morning, your cognitive abilities and product Activity are low and you're much more productive later on in the day. Forcing night owls to wake up earlier has been shown to negatively affect their brains. When you change your sleep schedule, your body goes through social jet lag, which can actually loosen the integrity of the white matter in your brain. White matter helps your nerve cells communicate and a diminished integrity has been linked to depression and issues with cognitive function. This means that night owls trying to function in this modern early bird society often suffer from depression, difficulty concentrating, fatigue, and physical discomfort. They're also prone to addiction or obsessive behavior and are more likely to suffer from insomnia, sleep apnea, and obesity. And if you're using caffeine to function in the mornings, that comes with a whole other set of problems. So those are the problems. What are the solutions? Well, ideally it would be great if society could adapt to accommodate different chronotypes, but that's pretty unlikely to happen. But for now, there are ways for night owls to manage and function if you don't have a job that allows you to wake up later. One way is to develop a regular nighttime routine so that your body knows when it's time to go to bed. Make sure to turn off your TV, laptops, computers, phones, anything with a bright light because that's not gonna tell your body that it's nighttime. Your body needs darkness to produce melatonin. You can also take melatonin to help you sleep better at night. Another helpful tip is to get enough sunlight. I personally like to sleep with these shades open because the sun does more to wake me up in the morning than a million alarms does. Light plays a huge role in regulating your circadian rhythm. You can also try spending more time outside in the mornings to soak up as much sun as possible. This is a good natural way to wake you up. It's also a good idea to stick to your sleep schedule all week. If you're only working early Monday through Friday, it's really tempting to go to bed later and wake up later on the weekends. But then on Monday, you're starting all over again, changing your sleep schedule, and you're suffering from social jet lag every week. And that's not good. As I said earlier, it's very bad for your brain. And finally, here is the positive part of the video. If you are a night owl and you are really getting tired of the pressure being put on you by society, here are some facts based on some studies done that prove that you are awesome. A 1998 study showed that night owls had larger incomes than morning larks. 
In a 1999 study, night owls perform better than morning larks on most intelligence measures. A 2006 study showed that night owls are more creative. That one I can attest to. A 2009 study showed that they remain mentally alert for longer throughout the day. Another 2009 study showed that night owl students were more intelligent. And yet another 2009 study showed that night owls experience a burst of physical strength in the evening. So it's not like one chronotype is better than the other. This video is just to acknowledge that there are lots of different types of sleep schedules and there's not one that's more productive or more admirable than the others. So there you have it. That was my little PSA on being a night owl. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something. And if you're a night owl, give this video a like and please subscribe for more educational and vlog style videos. So I'm still adjusting to the nine to five life. It's been about a month and a half, I think. My main issue now is getting to bed as early as I want to and cloudy days make me super drowsy and if it's really rainy in the morning it takes me forever to get out of bed but I spent the first few weeks feeling really sick in the mornings regardless of when I went to bed the night before and I have moved past that so I am definitely making progress so I have high hopes for myself and all of you night owls out there who might be watching this video okay bye now for real